Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome once again to the latest episode of the Weekend Wrap-Up. I'm your host, Duke Nork. How's it going? Uh, hope you all had a good week. I did. I had actually a phenomenal week. I'll tell you why. Um, first off, so I, I, I was making these, so I had a commission for some theater dice. Um, so the high face, these are, these are custom made. I made these myself from top to bottom, uh, and the low face tragedy, high face, come. Um, one of them didn't work out. This is my mold that I made them in, or mold, molded for them to cast. So the, the D12 right here, you can see, I mean, you can see, it's kind of, um, there's a face missing, because uh, the, 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 the high face, high face right there, wow. the high face right there, um, didn't, didn't, uh, didn't come out. In fact, it did, but then it sanded out. So I was like, well, that's not going to work. I gotta redo that. So with a lot of futzing with the mold, because um, first, first I, I tried to put it back in here and just re-pour the top. Um, but you can see there's a crack right there. But there was a crack that led from this side, and it was all along this this side of the mold. And so I poured the resin in here, and it just leaked out the crack. So there's no resin on the face. So I was like, damn it. Okay, well, I gotta fix that crack. So I did. Um, and now you can see it's it's nice and nice and secure. So I fixed that crack. Um, took me a couple tries, because first I tried to do it with this silicone. So this, so Platinum Cure silicone, does not stick, does not cure um, with uh, tin cure. So a lesson learned for me: don't don't mix your silicones. It's not gonna work. Um, so I, I I finally got that to work. So I'm gonna pour that face today, and hopefully, so that means next week I'll be able to sand and polish that one die. Because everything else is already done. Sand and polish and ink, that one die. Um, and then I, it's another commission done. Got the commission for JN off last week? Last Friday, I believe. He received it, um, but he is super busy with Leon stuff. Um, in fact, I believe he's in Baltimore at Baltimore Comic Con today, this weekend including today, doing stuff for Leon. So uh, I, he got the box. I don't think he's had a chance to like open it and, and really see yet, um, ho hoping. I mean, he's, he's gonna like it. It's, it's awesome stuff, so. Um, finish up that other commission, get that off in the mail next week. Uh, what else did I do this week? I, oh, well, you know, this mold I was showing you. So these are, these are D6s. As you can see, D6s. I've got the cap here. Whoop. It's a little sticky. Gross. Um, phrasing. Wow, that just, yeah. Anyway, caps here. Um, doing, I was trying something a little different with this because the first mold I made for these D6s, it's, it's hit or miss. Some of them work, some of them don't. Um, first mold I, I made of D6 is hit or miss. Some of them work, some of them end up with voids. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to make a new D6 mold. I'm going to make a good D6 mold, knowing what I know about mold making. <laughs> As it turned out. Um, when I poured this initially, because I used these dice as masters, and you'll note they're not, they don't have pips anymore. Because I had let them sit a little too long after I, after I poured the initial mold of this which is around here somewhere. Um, I let them sit in the, the IPA a little bit too long. It loosened up the glue. Because here, here's, a, here's a little known fact about um, at least pipped dice from a manufacturer is they don't paint their pips, they glue them. So they have, they have perfectly machined divots um, that they just glue into the pips. 
so you can clean them with basically anything you want to as long as you don't let it sit in a solvent um, and it'll work fine it'll work great so uh, I did not know that I let them sit in a solvent the glue loosened all the pips came off which is fine and that just means that the 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 indentations are deeper than for me so when I, I, I remold them I can you know do some sanding some surface sanding and I'm not gonna erase those pips But what I did not know is that they had been sitting in a solution of isopropyl alcohol and uh, suspended UV resin, because that's that's the alcohol I was using to clean my uh, UV resin 3D prints. Fun fact about uh, silicone, platinum cure silicone, and UV resin, they don't play together. So I had these dice, these master dice, in this this platinum platinum cure silicone mold that the the wells didn't fully cure so uh, I didn't get the the nice crisp definition on my on my pips that I thought I would so I was like god damn it what am I gonna do well luckily the, most of the mold cured fine as you can see so what I did is I took the dice out um first I took I took a picture of because because I wanted to make sure I put the right dice back in the back in the holes, um, took the dice out, cleaned it all out, used, used isopropyl alcohol, fresh isopropyl alcohol to clean it all out, cleaned my dice again to make sure they didn't have any UV resin residue on them, put them back in the mold, uh, coated the top of the mold in, in uh, this stuff, the Vaseline, the petroleum jelly, petroleum jelly, that's it, coated that so that the silicone didn't stick. And then I, pour, I re-poured the top, hoping that what was going to happen is it would pour the top, and then, because there was a slight gap between my master dice and the, and the wells, I was hoping that that silicone would seep down, make those, you know, stick to the, to the, to the other mold there, in, inside, butt up against the, you know, and basically remold my dice for me. That's exactly what happened. Um, pleasantly surprised, that's what happened. So, when I pulled... You know this this top off. Um, look, you know, look at those look at those pips. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, Nineties kids will remember. Um, so <clears throat> I did that. That worked well. Um, I think I'm gonna cast a set because I'm doing a Halloween giveaway. Um, I'm doing so many giveaways. It's not really Halloween though. It's really for for finally hitting 100 followers on the Twitters. So what I want to do is I want to cast a set of um, uh, negative dice. So you know your standard. I think I have a set around here, but your standard um, you know dice that you pick up in a in a any literally any shop in America that sells games. Um, you could probably even get them at a gas station. But these standard, you know, white dice, black pips. I'm gonna do black dice, white pips. Um, so that's my that's my hundred follower giveaway on Twitter, coming up soon, probably after it. Is it will probably be in November because now I'm still trying to sell tickets for the raffle. Man, I can't believe it. I haven't sold many. Apparently, there's there's at least one person that's gonna be like, yeah, I'm buying some tickets. Uh, you know, basically after payday. Okay, fine. Um, but it's like, you know, Halloween's on Monday. It's Friday. Uh, I want, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to run this for like a week and a half to give people, sorry, excuse me, that's gross, to give people the opportunity to buy tickets. Haven't sold a single freaking one. So that's disappointing. Um, not breaking even on that. Whatever. Um, oh, and speaking of the, the candy dice, I poured, I guess actually JN, bought before i had the chance to take it down bought my set of uh lemon drop dice so that's these um i recast them uh, i just gotta just gotta knock the shine off them so they look like powdered sugar and uh and then ink those in blue and they'll be ready to go they'll be part of the raffle um the other dice i have are candy apple caramel apple sorry because they're green with with bronze and then Strawberry hard candy, so it's just you know, uh, um, 
see-through red with white ink. Easy peasy. So those are those are getting given away. Um, I was hoping that I was hoping that I would sell, you know, all the math. Um, that if I had if they were seven dollars a ticket, because I, I had them up on my site for like forty five bucks, right? A set. So I'm like, well, I'm giving away three sets. So if it's seven dollars a ticket, I should be able to sell twenty tickets. That seems reasonable, right? Uh, I haven't sold a single one. I lowered the price to five dollars. So in order to break even for five dollars a ticket, I think I need I, I would have needed to sell twenty seven tickets. That's still not happening, y'all. Unless unless it, it just blows up over the weekend, which hey you know hey it would be great. Um, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So whatever, whatever. I don't care. Um, I'm not making any money on this endeavor anyway. So screw it. Um, speaking of making money, uh, the other thing I did this week is I had a couple interviews with my previous employer, not for the same job I was doing, but different, different jobs. Um, and basically they both wanted to hire me. <laughs> I'm like, where were y'all? Like, anyway. So, <clears throat> in fact, I haven't heard from one. One of them was like, okay, here's your, here's your offer thing or whatever. Um, and the other one was like, yeah, we'll let you know. But they both want to hire me. Either way. So, uh, I basically, I've got a job. It's just a matter of, of which one and when does it start. Surprising, though. Certainly surprised me. Um, is that for the one job, they're both union, which is nice. Uh, but the one job, which I did, was not thinking that they would do this, they actually took all of my experience into account. Not just... Not just the experience I had with the company here um, in this state, but in, excuse me, pardon me, but actually in, uh, at the previous, at the other division of the company in another state. So they took all of that experience into account when they said, here's what we're willing to offer you as far as pay goes. Um, so I was actually shocked, uh, pleasantly surprised. Um, and now I'm like, well, what's the other one going to do? Because I, I, I think I would rather have one of them over the other. But um, one of them also has, is for sure, 100% always work from home. And I might get a sign-on bonus. Whereas the other one is like, well, they're still looking for a new manager. The new manager might at some point decide to be like, well, we have to have people. And that's a, a minimum 90 minute commute one way. No, mm -mm, not doing that. In fact, and in fact, based on where the office, like the actual offices are, it would be like a two hour commute. So four, four hours, but, but round trip. No. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what they offer me. If they offer me, you know, a, a shocking amount more I might go with that one simply because I think I would rather, I would like that job more. Um, and even if it came down to, you know, in six months or a year, they were like, yeah, well, you have to come to the office. I'd be like, nah, I'm out, fam. Um, we'll see. But so that's what's going on. Um, as I said last week, uh, just because I have a, a job is, doesn't mean this is going to go away. It might change the schedule. Like it might not be on Fridays anymore. It might be late Friday night, it might be early Saturday morning, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how it goes, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing this, I'm gonna, you know, I, I like, I like doing this stuff, look at that, look at that, um, you can't really see the, the prettiness there, but it's there, these are super pretty, um, I'm gonna keep doing this, you know, I like doing this, I'm good at it, it might just be less, ultimately, right, because I'll have less time, um, so yeah, so you're, you're, you're sorry, sorry. Um, next week, I'm probably going to finish up, uh, you know, finish up the raffle. Give away some dice, maybe, if I manage to sell a god dang ticket. Uh, I have three sets, so I gotta sell at least, I, I would hope I, I at least sell three tickets, so I can give away all the dice. But whatever. Um, doing that, doing, uh, doing the pour... For my my negative dice for my hundred follower giveaway, I'll do that um, and probably run that giveaway. Um, yeah, I think that's 
That's all I have planned. Um, tell your friends if they want some dice. Excuse me. Tell your friends if they want some dice. Um, you know, follow me on Twitter. Like and retweet that that giveaway that's coming up. Or just commission me. You know, that's always an option too. Hit my hit my coffee page and and throw some money my way and, and, and I'll make you some dice. So that's it for me. Um, I'm tired of talking. Uh, I'm going to do a... I guess, you know what? I don't know. I don't even feel like pouring dice today. I don't, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. I think I'll like, just watch some movies instead. Oh, you know what's good? I've, I've been enjoying is the uh, Cabinet of Curiosities on Netflix from uh, Guillermo del Toro. Um, good stuff. Uh, not for the faint of heart, but good stuff. So if you if you have a Netflix subscription or if you you're, you're using somebody's password, go check it out. You won't you won't regret it if if you're a fan of horror. Um, so with that said, you know Monday's Halloween. Happy Halloween to all who celebrate. Uh, uh, or you know uh, have a have a good Dia de los Muertos uh, if you celebrate that or whatever you celebrate. Saturnalia. I don't know. It's not Christmas. I don't know. Anyway, until next time, be good to each other. Peace.